Have you ever wanted to write a review on a business, but something was telling you not to? That's what we're gonna talk about today. What's up, beautiful people? Hey, uh, can we talk about something here for a minute? I want to talk about reviews. I want to talk about reviewing businesses, giving recommendation, one star, two star, five star, all of that stuff on Yelp, the Yellow Pages, uh, Facebook, wherever people go to write reviews about businesses. I want to talk about that for just a second. And it's not just because I own a business. First of all, we all know that most people, like when they have a bad experience, they're gonna tell seven to 10 people that they had a bad experience. If they have a really great experience, they might tell one or two. And so in our human nature, whenever we feel like we were wrong or somebody came against us, we want to tell everybody about it and in a lot of cases when i look at reviews that are bad reviews almost 99 percent of the time it comes from people that are not business owners it's people that think that they know everything about that business and could probably run it better than the people that are currently running it and so they feel a need to really voice their opinion and and make sure that nobody else gets hurt or has to experience what happened to them. There is a time and a place for reviewing businesses, but I want people to do this first. Number one, take care of things at the lowest level possible. Whatever it is, take care of it at the lowest level possible. Go back in and talk to the cashier, and if you don't get what you feel like is the right response, then go to the assistant manager, go to the manager, then go to the owner. I think it's important that we take care of every issue you have at the lowest level possible to not escalate things to a greater place that it doesn't even need to go to. The most important thing is you are trying to help the business be successful and grow and learn from their mistakes before just raking them across the coals. Because I can tell you this, most businesses, they're not looking to screw you in order to increase their business. Oftentimes reviews can damage a business. Like in my line of work, people travel and they, they're coming through Dodge and they know they need an oil change so they look it up on Yelp, where's somewhere close, and then all of a sudden you've got these reviews. And in many cases, when we're writing bad reviews, we're giving 20% of the actual story. Before you write a review, exhaust all the resources to help the business learn from their mistake. And, even, and then after that, if you feel like you absolutely need to write a review on this business, warning your friends, make sure you put all the facts in. In many cases, there's so many other pieces to the pie. Don't leave out parts that might make you look like an idiot. The other thing that's really important when you're writing reviews is be factual. Let's say, for instance, you go to a Fuddrucker. If you're familiar with Fuddrucker, they sell burgers for like $12, $15. There might even be an $18 burger on the menu. If you're gonna write a review because you went to Fuddruckers for the first time, make it factual. Went to Fuddruckers, the burger, in my opinion, was okay. It was $16, yikes. I don't know if I'll be back. It's a valid response, it's a good review, it gives people the ability to choose. You're not saying, I went into this place, I want, I, it's all I wanted was a burger, and my bill at the end of the day was $27. How did it get to that point? We tend to, when the information isn't all there, we tend to, as humans, like plug in the missing information. And when we do that, it's always wrong. 
Just know that when we review a business, we are actually impacting a lot more than what we see in the foreground. A small business, there's usually several families involved. Owners and there's employees and the employees' families. When you write something to try to stop people from going to that business just because of your bad experience, you could be potentially damaging a lot more than what you can see. Most businesses, they want to do well, they want to work hard, they want to take care of their customers, and so give them the benefit of the doubt. Go out of your way to go to them first, tell them what's wrong, and in hopes that they'll fix it. Because nine times out of 10, a business is gonna do that. They're gonna do what they can to make things right. And then you just have a lot of crazy people out there that they're impossible to please, and you're never gonna do it right. And so, I mean, if I go to Yelp and I look at a bad review, a lot of times I can click on their profile or their name, I can see this person has 50 reviews and 49 of them are all bad. And that person is just impossible to please and there's really nothing you can do about it. And so I might be talking to you, hey, turn it around, man. Okay, life doesn't suck that bad. And if you are upset because somebody else has a business and you don't, work harder and you can get there. That was me eight years ago. I was tired of working for everybody else. I was tired of making other people rich. And so I thought, well, I don't know that I'll ever be rich, but I'm gonna go for it. And we worked hard and here we are. Anyway, that's all I got. That's the best information I have. Go out there, be blessed, work your tails off and go for it. Sky's the limit, guys. See you next time. Yeah, can I have the keys? A1 made it. To the Maserati. Are you? <laughs>